for well-built residential villa in Dakshina Kannada. And the top shortlisted nominations are the 14th ACCI Mangalore Ultra Tech Award 2022 for well-built residential villa in Dakshina Kannada district. The nominees are Vittal Das. The owner is Anantesh Prabhu. The architect is Pyland Associates and engineers C. Devdas Kamath and the contractor is Vinaya Alike. Moon House. The owner is Hansraj Alwa. The architect is Girish Daryao Karnavat of GDK Designs. The engineer is Engineer Sudeep Kumar Shetty of Mrs. Rachana Consulting Engineers and Architects. And the contractor is Gangadhar Mistri. Sai Kripa. The owner is Suresh Ganagara Majalu. The architect is Pranay Alva and Rohit Lunavat. Engineer is Rajat Kiran and the contractor is Mrs. M. M. Constructions. Ratna Villa. The owner is Srimati Mangala Mudavidri. The project consultants are Engineer Rajendra Kalbave of Mrs. Dakshinakanada Nirmiti Kendra. The engineer is Kenneth De Souza, while the contractor is Anthony Jose. And the winner is the 14th ACCI Mangalore Ultra Tech Award 2022 for well built residential villa in Dakshina Kannada district goes to the house of Dr. Hans Raj Alva. Architect is Girish Darya Vatkarnavat and the contractor is Ganga Dharmistri while the engineer is Sudeep Kumar Shetty. The eight acre site of Moon House is located on the bank of River Gurupur in Idma Mangaluru. In harmony with the nature is central to the concept of Moon House with exteriors and the interiors in perfect blend with the nature. The Jali compound wall, the brick and laterite paved walkways, landscape yards, the 1500 square feet pond, having irregular profile cross-section that stores harvested rainwater, presents different looks at different seasons of the year. The needle shaft housing, the overhead reservoir are few highlights of the exteriors that fuse with the very tastefully and elegantly executed interiors of the 2000 square feet 2 BHK residence. It is a mix of traditional and contemporary architecture with redox head flooring, masonry and timber structure of elements, fixed and movable partitions provide ample scope and flexibility in configuring the space utility for specific needs and occasions. Vast majority of materials for making moon house have been come from a careful deconstruction of a century old building at Pandeshwara Mangaluru. The materials recovered from deconstruction have been lifted and shifted to moon house site, process for specific needs at the conversion yard, specially created at site. Thus, low waste, no waste and waste utilization technologies have been adopted and practiced for cost effectiveness and eco-friendliness left no choice for the jury to select the prestigious 14th ACCI Mangalore Ultra Tech Award 2022 for well-built residential villa in Dakshina Kannada district. Congratulations to Moon House welcoming the owner Dr. Hans Raj Alva, architect, architect Girish Dhariyav Karnavat, engineer, engineer Sudeep Kumar Shetty and contractor Gangadhar Pujari. To present the award, let's welcome on stage Mr. Harish Kumar, Regional Head Sales and Marketing, South Karnataka, Ultratech Cement Limited and engineer Vinayak Pai, ACCI, Mangalore Centre. With your big round of applause. Let's give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The well-built residential villa in Dakshina Kannada and the award goes to Moon House.
congratulations congratulations i request our uh, dignitaries to stay back to present the next award that's the jury appreciation award and we have uh, dr anshraj uh, alwa a few words from you hi everyone it's a proud moment for me to be honored <coughs> actually it's an honor for the environment uh, i would like to say a few things about the the way my house was built we never used any new wood at all there was no wood was used there were no trees were cut we all used the recycled wood even when uh, if you go and see the uh, uh, the pond which is built adjacent to my house we never used any cement which was only lime and clay with that we built and uh, more than that uh, we give a lot of importance to the environment uh, in fact the place we are residing right now we, in Kad kadri uh, we had a pond right next to us which was totally destroyed by the structure which was built adjacent to our property the all the slurry coming into that luckily the muda decided to take over that place and build re rather uh, kind of save the pond project they spent about one and a half crores it was such a beautiful green pond with lot of green around is become like a concrete swimming pool corporation swimming pool they are very proud of their achievements uh, they are very happy they spent about one and a half crores to make that project we are all waiting for the ministers and the mlas and the mps to have an inauguration of that project but the green is lost so the same thing holds good for the, uh, so the smart city we had all the architects of smart city here some of them uh, uh, i think they're gone back uh, for me we mangalurans are all, always been smart we want a green city not a smart city save the environment please we have more trees i wherever i walk there's so much of concrete everywhere we had enough of concrete i don't want my city to be a concrete jungle let's all work towards a green city and living in a green city is much smarter than living in a smart city thank you one and all once again congratulations to 